David Cameron's government is facing criticism from Conservatives young and old over his handling of the Andrew Mitchell pleb affair. Party grandee Lord Tebbit has branded Downing Street as incompetent, while it's claimed young Tory MPs failed to stand behind their leader, and Mr Cameron chose to defend rather than sack his former chief whip. A special church service will be held later for the victims of the Cardiff hit-and-run attacks. These CCTV images show the moment a white van swerved across four lanes of traffic, mounted the curb and crashed into a couple and their two-year-old daughter on Friday afternoon. Detectives were yesterday evening granted more time to question a 31-year-old man arrested on suspicion of murder. They're also appealing for information about a black Renault Clio seen driving on the wrong side of the road just moments before the first hit-and-run attack. A man and a woman are being questioned on suspicion of murder following a house fire in North Wales, which killed a woman and two children. 20-year-old Liana Shears died alongside her niece Skye, aged two, and four-year-old nephew Bailey when their first-floor flat was engulfed in flames. Ms Shears' partner and son escaped the building but are still being treated in hospital. Colonel Gaddafi's former spokesman has denied reports by the office of Libya's Prime Minister that he has been captured in the country. In an audio clip purported to be by Moussa Ibrahim, he says he isn't even in Libya. Authorities haven't provided any evidence of the capture. The reports coincide with the first anniversary of the killing of Colonel Gaddafi. The White House has denied a report saying Iran has agreed to one-on-one -on -one talks over its nuclear program with the US. The report in the New York Times said Iran would not hold the talks until after next month's presidential elections. Iran looks set to be a key topic in the third and final U.S. presidential debate on Tuesday, which will focus on foreign policy. Police in Los Angeles are searching for a gunman who wore a painter's mask as he set fire to a home before going on a shooting spree, killing a father and his four-year-old son. Officers say the 30-year-old father was shielding two of his children when he was shot. A woman and two other young children were also injured. A campaign begins this week to raise awareness of elections for police and crime commissioners in England and Wales. On the 15th of November, you will have a vote. It comes after a poll suggested turnout in next month's vote could be as low as 18.5%. Here's Chief Executive of the Electoral Reform Society, Katie Goes. Well, the government has said this is all about building bridges between people and the police. It's all about giving us more of a say over how crime is tackled and how over our streets are policed. But we do worry that if as few as one in five of us turn out to vote for them, there are big questions there about whether they can really speak on our behalf.